It's gotta be a turtle. See that move? Look at that. It's gotta be a turtle deep down in that mud. Yeah, there he is. Oh, come on out of there. Might be able to get him out with this. Just the shell. That him there? Yeah, there he is. Look at him. I'm gonna get him over here. Get washed off so I see it better. Oh shoot. I about fell backwards. My foot sunk there. I about went for a fall. Top of a shell, I don't know. This shell is like white too. I've never seen one like this color. See albino, maybe? This shell is actually a yellowish white, like a, almost like a box turtle. Look at that. Or oh, this, this gotta be an albino one, huh? Have you ever seen a turtle, a snapping turtle like this? Trying to get a shell cleaner so we can see that shell better, but it's got all that moss out there that. Pretty, pretty turtle. Yeah, I was just driving along and I see that mud where he was at right there that like barging out and moving. I was like, what the heck is that? Anyway, we're gonna put him back over here in this mud hole. Right there. And we'll leave him be. All right, I just thought that was too cool to, well, I didn't know the color here was going to come out that color, but that's awesome. We'll see you guys. Yeah, no idea. Gotta see anything down there? Goes a three prong right here. So here's a three prong. There's the three prong. Good fishing down there in that pond. Good, nice catfish and bass down in there. Never tried for bluegill. I'd say he's got big bluegill too. Definitely got big catfish in there though. And bass. did it deep through here buddy i tell you what steep hill i wish i had my harness on right now it will be all right
is my third three prong I found while up here so far. It's just getting up here, so hopefully it's a good sign. They've all been pretty nice roots like this right here. Super old, but has some age. Not bad roots. Keep on looking. You guys, it's yams right here. Again, it's got like a circle of hearts that run around it. You run around that vine, it has circle of hearts, space, circle of hearts, space. And here goes what the roots look like. They got like little spines like out of that apophia too. Not like briar bushes, but not that pointed. But. Beat my way up through some really, really thick stuff. But I knew it opened up up here. And a good few years ago, you know, I found some sang up here. But after they logged, nobody's been able to get up here really yet. Hot saying it's been too thick, too hard to get to. Well, I decided now, good time to come up and try to look for some. I'm glad I did. Look at this boy here, girl. Oh, look at that big girl. There we go. I gotta see it better. All right, what we're after right there. Look at that. Beautiful four. Red berries on it starting to come off there. Look at the big old healthy berries, seeds. Get the plant back. Awesome. Get the seeds off. Brown scratched up just a little bit. I think you don't have to do big no deep hole or nothing. You just want to scratch the ground up, is all you really want to do with them. Drop some in, separate them up a little bit. Push the dirt up. Boom, duh, that's it. That's it, that's all there is to it. There we go. Out of there. I said this big mattock is just what works for me, you know. I've tried a lot of different things, like I said in other videos, but this is just what I come back to. You know, if you just get started or whatever, try different digging tools. Find what works best for you. Perfect. Pop that top off the rest of the way. There's our little nugget. Well, it's not real little, but there's our nugget. You know, if I couldn't have dug that, I would have started out further. But I was able to dig a lot of that top dirt off and see where all that root was at and where it was going. Normally on a bigger size plant like that, you want to kind of dig a bigger hole. Kind of work your way in so you can start seeing that root so you don't break or chop it. See some red berries down here. Red berries sure help this time. Location this way. Yeah, you know, I've been doing pretty good at here. I don't I can't show that way. People know the location I'm at. But anyway. Nice and thick in here, ain't it? I've dug a good bit of it now. Right here. Another nice one right here. Said it's where they've logged at and it's now kinda able to get up in here a little bit. Still can't walk all over like I'd like to, but it's all right. Finding some good stuff still. Don't want to come out yet. My hair roots caught down in there. There we go. Hey there. Beautiful, huh? That's what we're after. See you guys. This here's your seven bark, guys. See there? See a little what's left of white flowers on it? Let's see what it looks like. This looks like some little stems, little saplings coming up. Dig those roots too, but I wait till further in the winter to dig those. I'm about to dig. Well, it's a heck of a steep hill right here. I'm about to give it a go though. See if we can see if I can get up it. I think if I can get up it, I think I probably do pretty good here. It's a heck of a steep hill. Almost vertical. Wouldn't be bad if there's some smaller trees like this all the way up. I could grab like this little sumac here. 
powder that is this this dirt to be really soft that I can sink my feet into it real good. If it's packed down real hard, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it up it. I ain't gonna get up and stare at it, am I? Get a break for just a second. Almost there. We're trying to cut over right up to that tree, I think, that's falling right there. All kinds of big bud root up here. Now we can celebrate a little bit anyway. Take a break, a much needed break. That's a steep hill right there. Blood root in here, right there. There you go, some the abs. You see co-wash. I mean, it's definitely some ground that, that some sand will grow in. Definitely. Right, here's one, guys. I don't know if you see that one there. There's a decent, nice three frog. Another one started to get married there, it looks like. I'm really nervous about keep walking this hill. Especially being up here by myself like this. No matter how much thing I'm finding, it's, it's not worth my life. Tell you what, if a person wanted to dig a bunch of blood root, this is the spot to do it. Here's a root. It's not bad at all. Decent neck on it. Top's nice. I don't have my climbing harder so I've been day guys and being by myself. I should have never came up this. We'll go ahead and head back down out of here. We, I found a couple bunches of sand up there. Pretty quick and pretty nice stuff. Saw some small stuff, not worth digging, but it's up there. I've come back with a harness or something I can tie off with, because that's just too dangerous being up there. A little old rock there, ain't it? He had turned up there, see that? The red berries and that stem coming up here. I see the red berries and get excited. Thinking it's ginseng berries and get over there and see it better than they in the internal. Get heartbroken. Wasn't gonna go down no further than here, but that sure does look like a decent sized yellow one. Yeah, that's one. The yellow say it's all starting to not all of it. Most of what I'm finding is green still, but some of it's turning yellow. That's how you find it though. Easy, that yellow. Goes a little patch of them right there. Nothing big. Right there. Another three prong, couple two prongs. Oh, here goes another two prong, two prong, couple two, or no, those ain't two prongs there. Them two are. There's one over there. One up there. Which is all bigger though. This is about the only one I see that's worth digging. Besides that other three down there, it might be. Yeah, that is some of the prettiest yellow you've ever seen. Pretty yellow. Here's a pretty girl. Right here. That pretty one. Is that normally a, yeah, normally a four prong? But it's losing some of its leaves. There goes part of one, and there goes the stem for the other one right there. Hopefully you guys will be able to see as I dig like this. I don't have any other way I can set my camera up. So hopefully this is aiming down good enough for you guys to see, I hope. It's easy, soft ground. There we go. There we go. I said hopefully you guys can see that dig, but that, there's the root from it. Big old yellow root tops right there. Look at them. Big old fat yellow root tops. It's not enough really to, to dig. You don't want to dig that. You want to let that stay here so it can seed out and produce more for the future. I thought I'd show you guys here. some big stuff though. Look how big that stuff is. Real big and fat. I got big old roots, but it's got to stay. See ya. It's not a bad three right there, is it? Pretty three. It's on top of a rock. Here we go. That's too bad, I guess, huh? They buy black walnuts, too, for 18 cents a pound once they're hauled. 
you take it to them like this, and they haul it there at the root place, the buyers, and then they weigh it out. It's a little two frog, but we don't want that. See there? Well, we'll see you guys at the next one. Let's see how deep it sounds. I know it's full of water, so let's see. Holy. Holy cow. Hey! I'm gonna have to hook a light up on this GoPro and hook it up out of some fishing line or something. Let's see if we can lower this down in there. Let's see, I find one big rock though. On the rock, you hit straight down. Let's try this one. See what it does. <laughs> I had to come back and get my jacket. It fell off. I was just about out of the mountains too. Was oh, here. Dust bathing with your babies? Huh? You teach them how to dust bathe, Bubba? Come over here. Huh? Come right over here. Come here. Look at the bees. Look right here. See ya? What do you think? Is that cool? Yeah, I like bees. You like that? Mm -hmm. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like bees too. You like bees too? Yeah. Me too. That is cool, huh? Huh? What do you think? Okay. I'm going to get them put in a box, okay? Okay, go back over that way for now.